China um, has passed away at the age of only 45. Very shocking and sad, you know, very sad to read that news. I mean, at the only the age of 45, the reason has not yet been disclosed. I mean, it's been rumored and possible an overdose. We can't really speculate until more details become available. But, uh, Tom, uh, what were your thoughts on the whole thing and breaking down this morning with China passing away? What was your immediate reaction to that? Um, uh, honestly, I was uh, shocked. Um, I was um, definitely sad. I have followed China, oddly enough, for almost her entire televised career anyway. And even post-WWE, um, uh, notwithstanding some of the uh, looter side of things that she uh, was into, but, um, you know, just her appearances on Howard Stern, her appearances on different reality television shows. She actually did a video with a... Boston comic, uh, his name is Robbie Roadsteamer, um, and uh, I've worked with him in the past on a couple of things, and, you know, she did a video with him recently, just kind of, just fun, weird comedy type, uh, you know, off-humor type stuff, and, you know, from everything I had heard, you know, she was a person that was always working harder to, you know, kind of battle any of the demons that she had and, um, you know, improve things for herself and for her health, so... It's just so sad to see, you know, that struggle come to an end. And, um, you know, I, I was definitely shocked, and you know, it was interesting to have everybody reach out and kind of be talking about it. So I'm glad people are talking about her. I think she was a pretty important factor in women's wrestling. I mean, a pioneer, as many people have said on Twitter this morning, include one, including one Triple H, which we'll get to soon enough in the whole discussion about that, but... I mean, like you said, I think the most heartbreaking thing about this entire thing is the fact that not only at age 45, but she was really trying to get her life back on track, especially in the last year or so since her meltdown. I mean, the whole she kind of came back into light after the whole conversation, the podcast between Stone Cold Steve Austin and Triple H last February. I know RJ and I, you talk, we talked about it you know, last winter about the fact of whether she might go into the Hall of Fame and bad blood between her and Triple H. And she put up a lot of scary videos, but she seemed to have gotten her life back on track in the past year and now abruptly passing away in social media a lot of overwhelming support from wrestlers fans it's great to see sad to see but also great at the same time celebrating the life of uh of china so rj you broke news to me this morning when i first woke up china's dead i mean i was shocked um, i couldn't believe it what were your immediate reactions uh like you said it's pretty it's sadding that um like you said she was she had that little meltdown but um seemed like she's trying to get her life back on track and maybe make amends with the company and unfortunately at the age of 45 she passed away this morning so um like you said she's a pioneer for women's wrestling um she pretty much kicked that off in the 1990s unfortunately i wasn't able to see any of her in-ring work but um like you said she broke those doors and set those barriers for women wrestling so she should be in the hall of fame already i don't know if this will help her case at all but um i think that the WWE missed the opportunity to make amends with someone that really helped their company get to the point it is now before she passed away exactly yeah. i mean it sucks i mean it's a lot like with macho man randy savage we're coming up on the five-year anniversary of that next month and i mean it was only inevitable before she got into the hall of fame probably in the not in the next couple of years before she passed just because of everything that happened last year and uh triple h and stephanie not being her biggest fans and whatever but um i think it's only a matter of time before she gets inducted at this point it just sucks it has to happen under these circumstances whether it's next year in orlando or five years down the line, a lot like with Macho Man last year. I mean, he passed away in 2011 and wasn't inducted until 2015 into the WWE Hall of Fame. But um, whenever it is, and it's going to happen at some point, it just sucks that she won't be there to uh, accept the honor. But, uh, Tommy, what are your thoughts on China possibly going in the Hall of Fame at some point? Do you think, obviously, is she worthy, but when does that happen? Uh, I was honestly surprised it hasn't happened in the past couple of years, uh, even despite everything. I mean, just the wellness program and... Uh, uh, the way that they've embraced a lot of other similar superstars of her generation, you know, I had assumed that we would start seeing some more of that uh, uh, popping up. But obviously, um, just kind of her outspokenness sometimes keeps people like that at a arm's length with the company for whatever reason. And, you know, they're just so nose down about their day-to-day -day operations that it's hard to it's hard to say how the process really works anymore you know a lot of a lot of the hall of fame process now feels to be based on where their the location of wrestlemania is and what kind of almost 
local stars have been generated out of that area, and those are the kind of people that they build a theme around. So, you know, I'm not sure where China fits in with any of their proposed themes or how that's going for the selection process forward, but she is certainly a Hall of Famer. I mean, her, her resume alone immediately qualifies her for that, I feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, like you said, it should have happened the last couple of years. It's a shame that it didn't, and, you know, as RJ, you just said, too, I mean, it's a shame that she couldn't make amends to the company before she, you know, abruptly passed away earlier today.